Hey everyone. So welcome to the new video. Uh, I know it's been long and I haven't been able to create one in a long time. But uh, I wanted to share uh, today a script um, which I presented as a part of my presentation at uh, SEO in real life uh, in Toronto on 27th. So I'm going to share uh, the script as well. You might have already received this deck as a part of um, uh, Steve's deck, but I was able to kind of clean this a little bit and make it more presentable. And uh, today we will uh, go through it one by one. Um, you will need a value SERP API and the open AI API for this. Uh, and the, it will become more clearer as we go through this. But um, before I go into it, uh, what I wanted to share quickly is, is what this script does, right? Uh, and the use case that I wanted to achieve was something like, let's say, if I want to identify a rankable content topic from a seed keyword, then how do I do that, right? And right now, the way we go about it is we do a keyword research, then we um, go or we do manual keyword mapping or we do keyword clustering um, and then we move on to content outlines. Now, um, if we think this in form of automation, then what do we want to do is that we want to know uh, what are the search queries for a seed keyword uh, that we are trying to kind of analyze. Uh, and then uh, we don't want to do like manual mapping. Uh, we want to do kind of a sub based clustering. Uh, there are lots of awesome tools out there right now. Uh, keyword insights is one of my favorite. Um, but then there are, I think, keyword Cupid, clustering AI through, uh, there are a bunch of tools. Um, that helps you do keyword clustering and then uh, based on that clustering you identify those rankable topics uh, and then you have like uh, you can you can move on to uh, generate a high level content outline so in this script uh, I'm doing all of these things within the script itself uh, and which I which I'm going to show you but for keyword research I'm going to use um, Google autocomplete API uh, and then I want to do sub base clustering for that I need to script the the keywords or like what are the top 10 URLs ranking for each of them and then I'll do clustering which you can use so, um, and then uh, I'll go through open AI API but the point here is is not to show you only this as you go through the presentation the idea is that you can think of any work that you do today uh, is where you collect the data, you transform the data some, somewhere, you do some sort of a logical operation on that. Once again, you transform that and that either become your insight or your deliverable. And the data that you use today, um, all of that data, whether that's a crawl data or keyword data, Google SERP, Search Console, Google Ads, customer data, all of that is actually available to you with uh, API. So the idea is that anything that you do that can help you improve, let's say rank on new, uh, uh, that can help you rank on new keywords or improve your ranking position or you improve your organic CTR, all of those things can be automated. Um, uh, I would use the, that term loosely, but it can be achieved. And then if you are observing there are there are some of the things that you keep doing um, then you might want to automate it so what i find myself doing is a lot about going on sub trying to understand the intent and then trying to kind of work back what is the keyword or what is the article that i should write um, and that's what i have tried to kind of automate so let's go through that instead of i keep speaking right so it has multiple component. Uh, it is like it will scrape um, keyword suggestion from autocomplete API and then it will do value sub batch API, which is scraping of SERP results. Um, then I'm also pulling in volume for all those keywords and then I'm doing sub based clustering and then I'm visualizing those clusters. Then I'm selecting one of those clusters to create um, content briefs. And then as a part of content briefing, I'm generating 
some questions from the search query that kind of infers the intent and then I'm using that to generate the content brief first draft and then let's say a second draft so let's uh, go through that so I have this um, you know script ready for you you can use it uh, the first is auto suggest it will just like scrape um, the keywords that are there for this keyword so what this does basically is you can go on Google and you can search this and as soon as you hit press all of these suggestions that that I'm getting right now from Canada uh, this would get this is currently getting from US but you can just like change it and you can run it and now this is what the Canada suggestion is uh, probably it is similar sometimes it differs based on my personalization um, but this is what it does now I have like uh, gone a little bit further and I said okay what I want to do is I want to scrape first level of suggestion and then I want to iterate over each of the keyword and I want to fetch like second level of all those suggestions for all of these keywords and I want to do that again for all of these keywords at the third level. So um, I can, so the idea is to be let's say less biased and like think from Google's point of view and it's like okay what they are thinking uh, and where they are expanding this search query uh, and that was the basically idea so when you put this like how to use generative AI in SEO uh, now it has started it's not r right now live but I just completed it uh, so you can see that the first term was like how to use generative AI the the second term it fetched was using AI in SEO and then it fetched these three level terms and then second was um, using AI in SEO uh, and then using AI in chatbots benefit of ch AI chatbots and then these are third level suggestions so I have scraped all of that and it has become 79 different keywords sometimes if you want to remove let's say some keywords from here which you think is completely relevant you can go here you can just like quickly understand what the, those keywords are um, and you can quickly see that and if you see that there are some keywords which is just not making sense and you, you don't want to spend your values up um, keyword uh, like the credits on that then you can remove it from here what this does is it says in terms df as a data frame in a keywords column um, find uh, so the string contains banking or VIX find that and exclude that from them uh, and this is what you will get so uh, let's say this one is yeah 79 um, I have already run it before and removing VIX and banking is just like giving you 77 but it will cu currently like take this 79 and we will move forward so after we have this uh, so now you can put in another keyword uh, and you can fetch this data uh, and it will be a new terms df then what we need to do is for all those keywords we need to scrape um, the top 10 search results and for that I have written this ready script for you what you just need to do is you need to come here and put your own API uh, and then you need to like change this and then one more thing that you need to change is the notification email otherwise the email will come to me uh, what this does it, it just like sends some sort of a notification email and says uh, this the batch that you started has already uh, completed scraping but this creates a batch and then adds the search queries and then starts the batch get results um, and then clean the results and here is the, the the overall function which does everything and then it will scrape something like this so in this case it is saying that my batch ID is this added search queries to values of batch API started that waiting for search results service successful and ready to be used and then at the end you will get a data frame like serp df where you will have keyword and then you will have a urls ranking for each of those keywords and these urls will be used to do a serp based clustering where basically we will say um, if the x number of urls are similar between two keywords then we would make that as a cluster that i'll come to but but this 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 is the only you know code that you need where you just uh, uh, have your own API and then you you decide which location that you want to scrape from 
uh, the country language and the which version of a Google domain. In this case, I have scraped this from New York City. Um, and uh, if you will, let's say search this uh, from New York, uh, you will potentially get those results. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you can, let's say, uh, do it uh, later. The next step, which is optional, is uh, I'm also using Keywords Everywhere API to fetch the volume for that. So I have 79 keywords. Uh, now I got volume for all of them. And I'll, I'll show you where I'm using that. But the, I think the main piece is uh, the serve-based clustering. What I have done is I haven't given out the serve-based clustering code because I'm, I keep improving that. And uh, over the past few months, it has evolved. Um, but what I have done is I have created a function on Google Cloud. And what that does basically is you send the data and it processes the data and it gives you the, the end result. So what is happening here is that uh, you are declaring what is that URL or the function. So this is the function URL that you will use. And then you are preparing the data that you are gonna send. So this is the dictionary which is being created where you're saying the sub DF data is actually the dictionary from your data frame. And then common num is the, the number of URL uh, you want it to consider as minimum number of common URL between the cluster, between the keywords so that it forms a cluster. You can change this number as well, however you like. Um, you just need to scrape this once and you try out the different numbers here to see what makes most sense. But this prepares the data and then uh, the data gets converted from normal string um, to JSON and then this is the post request it makes. Um, so maybe you might need something like uh, import requests uh, and then you will make this request um, then you will get uh, the response.txt which will have the response and then you will once again build a, a data frame out of it, right? And this is your data frame. So now you got keyword volume, which was there, but this is your, um, like the cluster name and the number of keywords in cluster is what you got, uh, which is the clustered uh, keywords. Now we are visualizing those keywords here and we are saying that, okay, show me all the clusters where the, the minimum number of keywords are at least three. Uh, and now you get this cluster. One cluster is adding AI to website. Now you can see that what are the keywords that are there. It's like, okay, how to add AI to your website? How to implement AI in website? How to implement AI into a website? How to implement AI into your website? Integrate, integrate AI. Uh, how to use AI in my website, all of that. So I think it's a good topic. The another one is benefit of AI chatbot. How do chatbot work? Uh, how to use AI in web development, right? Um, now this one uh, is not considering volume uh, and it is showing all the queries. Uh, you can also do this, uh, let's say more than zero. Uh, there will be a lot of different clusters here. Uh, I just did it minimum three, so it removes uh, these uh, like a smaller cluster. Um, but here, uh, now we are also considering volume and he's saying that actually the biggest um, opportunity is what is AI chatbot with 1300 uh, monthly volume. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the clusters. So here I have uh, this code. What it does is uh, it takes, um, it will give you the list of all the clusters that are there. So I'm picking this one, adding AI to the website, which is this. And I'm saying that, okay, select this cluster and give me all the keywords within this cluster so you will get this. Uh, then I am installing uh, OpenAI API. Uh, you have to install your own API, uh, not mine. Um, I will remove this one uh, so it will not be working anymore. Um, Okay, so we are on API. 
uh, now I have all the keywords that are there within this cluster and then um, I am using OpenAI. So this one is like I'm calling it as an intent prompt. What I would generally like to do is to say you are an experienced UX researcher who understands the target audience really well. You're expert at reading search queries and inferring the intent of a search query. And this will give me like what users would like to know or understand when they make the search query. And then I say, here is a search query. Uh, here are the list of search queries. Here are the questions. Uh, and then like uh, uh, write um, the content uh, that is there. And then you can get like a, um, an outline. And then I have like a simple prompt that says like make it more SEO friendly, add H1, H3, H2, H3, whatever. And then you get this. Now, again, this is gonna hallucinate a lot, but the, the overall point being that you can take something end to end and you can make it as a script. And um, this can allow you to save a lot of your time and uh, you can be focused more on identifying the new workflows making it more efficient instead of just like you know wandering aimlessly uh, from one tool to another um, and and trying to make sense of things um, so here you know you can now think of bringing data from various different ways you can let's say use uh, SEMrush and Nature's to bring in um, csv imports um, you got now a script for value sub api uh, sub base clustering google auto complete uh, open api was like always there I have keywords everywhere is here uh, gs api i have made like extensive videos on that um, so now you can start thinking of like how would you achieve uh, the things that you want to achieve so this is what i wanted to share um, i hope you like it and um, I'll be sending more of these uh, going forward. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments uh, if you have any questions or uh, any idea. Thank you.